Speaking of heights, look at our shirts. Yes. Yay. Okay. Aren't these rad? Pretty cool, huh? Am I leaning back far enough? Okay. If not, then they can definitely see mine. Okay, great. Yeah. So yeah, yeah a nice using flatten out. as as lovely. I'll by... try to I'll try to flatten out as much as I can. I'll sink that in. As modeled yeah. by the lovely Carly Morgan. <laughs> these are the brand new Teton T-shirts. This one is my first foray into really loving the vintage stuff we know is going away soon. I know, yeah. So this is made to look like a vintage Idaho Falls tourist t-shirt. So did I tell you or did I tell you when we visited the Visit Idaho Falls experience uh -huh. and experienced that, I think these shirts are better. I would agree. I think Little these biased. are some really good shirts. I know. So let's make a deal. We hired an artist, Greg, right. from mm -hmm. Kaleidoscope. In fact, he signed it. Yeah, this you can is see his signature right there in the very bottom. This shirt we feel is literally a work of art, and there's two more coming. This is the first in a series. Uh huh. Not about the water tower, about other. Okay, spoiler alert: tall Idaho Falls landmarks. <laughs> I'm excited, honestly, and there's another one that I'm really excited for. Yes, that one is in the works. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it got moved down the queue. I know it did, you rat bastard. I know. <laughs> We've been talking about it for years now. About Yeah, about a year, I think. Oh, I want to mention tetontshirts.com, in case we haven't plugged this enough. Right, yes. Get your own mm -hmm. vintage water tower t-shirt. Which also, a few years ago for Valentine's Day, I was looking for a, a water tower t-shirt for you. Yeah. And I couldn't find a single one on the entire internet, and I was so pissed. It should exist. It should exist. It should exist. I really thought it would be something relatively easy to find, or I could find, like, you know, one of those vinyl shops that would slap it on there for you pretty right. easy. But, like, I couldn't find anything like it anywhere and finally, I ended up getting you something else entirely. But I want to walk that back and say a good one should exist. Right, right. Yeah. Well, at the time, I couldn't even find a single one. Because you need to be drinking your Sprite Chill yeah. and your made-to-look-vintage Idaho <laughs> Falls Water Tower t-shirt. I bet you the new one is going to be so ugly, and I'm just not looking forward to it, man. We've had this talk. You're completely wrong. <sighs> <laughs> like, I just, I feel like this one's so iconic that they need to do something. Like, it doesn't have to be what exactly What could they this. do to make it iconic? Okay, I actually just had an idea as I was saying that. Okay. You know the kind of like wave pattern that are, that's on all of the Idaho, Idaho Falls signage? Like my logo t-shirt last week. Yes. They should do a pattern of that all around it. Kind of like one of those... um Fiesta Olay Cups. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, not just mm -hmm. under the logo, right. or not just over the logo, uh -huh. but all the way around, keep yeah. going with it. Yeah, all the way around the tower. I think that looks super cool. There's another million dollar idea, courtesy of Carly Morgan. Mm -hmm. That one I would like $100 for, though, <laughs> if you use it. <laughs> I wonder if they will have a, okay, design the water tower contest. Yes. And I think that would win. I think so. But you know what? That's what they did. That's why this water tower looks this way mm -hmm. is because in the 70s, mm -hmm. they had a, the city of Idaho Falls hosted a, paint must have been a lot cheaper back then, but they, they hosted a designer water tower contest. Really? The winner was Ken Longmore. Mm -hmm. And the reason you see the little mini um, water tower bench that we always talk about when right. we talk about the Visit Idaho Falls experience, uh -huh. that bench was in honor of, it's part of the Art You Can Sit On series so all around the river. There's uh -huh. a snake and there's a something else. I know that there's like one that's two Idahos and then a bench in between them. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's also like a music note. So the reason that Water Tower Bench exists is to honor Ken's daughter, Tara Longmore, who sadly passed away. Mm -hmm. You may remember her as part of Brad and Tara. Yeah. On the radio. So... Okay, I think that's everything we know about the Idaho Falls Water Tower this time around, kids. Right? I know, we've talked about it a lot, but it's such an iconic piece of our city. Well, and it's going away. Yeah. Yeah.